wearing a hijab is 100% confidence. You know what I mean? Like when I when you try a hijab style, like you go at it 100% thinking you can do this and you can wear it. I'm thankful that when I was younger, I had my parents and my aunts that encouraged me and loved me and supported me for wearing a hijab and, and when you're younger, I think it's our job as an adult to tell the kids, you look beautiful, you look amazing, and to like reassure them that like, you know, society won't perceive you differently just because you wear a hijab, you know what I mean? And it's good because it teaches you confidence when you're a kid, you know what I mean? If if you're in kindergarten, you're in your classes and all the girls like don't wear a hijab and you're that one kid that does wear a hijab, you're definitely going to stand out, but that's where, you know, that's where confidence starts. Like, Okay, I got it. I look so different. <laughs> World Hijab Day is an initiative that um, is worldwide, but locally, It Can Outreach, which is a Dawah program, um, decided to engage with the community and give Muslims, non-Muslims, or anyone who doesn't wear hijab to uh, come and try it on. So by um, reaching out to people in the community, we can come and by letting them try on the hijab, they can, you know, walk, you know, the proverbial, um, you know, mile in your shoes. They can empathize with us, and if anything, it's good for people to come and meet us. You know, you know, we're just like you. It is a piece of cloth, as shown on those racks over there. You can try them on and um, ask us any questions you have, because oftentimes people are very hesitant. It's different. I've always like wanted to know how I looked in one, and my friend is Muslim, and uh, I was just always curious. So I never really had a chance to ask her because we don't really see each other all the time. But it feels different. World Hijab Day is celebrated to honor the hijab and the women who wear them. It wouldn't be World Hijab Day without some delicious food and some henna. A lot of henna. Wait, did I say henna? <laughs> of course, it wouldn't actually be World Hijab Day without educating the public and others about the hijab. I think um, some misconceptions would be like it doesn't feel like nice, it, like and like we're like forced to wear it. But when you wear it, when you've worn it once, then I think it like you would like, want to wear it more because it just like feels good. Right. I'll start from the ground up. Okay. So I started wearing a hijab younger than a lot of other kids. Like some kids wear a hijab like here and there and stuff like that, but I think I fully started wearing the hijab in the fourth grade. It was quite the funny story because my parents didn't force it on me. I have five sisters and out of the five I'm the only one that wears hijab. Like it was completely 100% my choice. Same thing with my mom. My mom doesn't wear a hijab either. Like I'm the one that like stuck with it and kept it on myself. Um, I started I think like grade four. I was with my aunt and then uh, she used to have all these beautiful hijabs with all these patterns and these decorations and I just fell in love with it. Just, like. I always used to play with them. She's like, don't touch them unless you're gonna wear them. Mm -hmm. So one day she asked me like for the first day of the fourth grade, she's like, Ashley, would you like to wear a hijab? So I went to school and I got all this attention because I was wearing like this colorful decorative hijab. My teachers were like, wow, it's amazing. And then I went home and my aunt was like, how'd you like it? And I was like, everybody loved it. So I, I wore it the next day because I wanted the same attention. You know, I wanted all the teachers to hug me and be like, wow, she look amazing and stuff. Yeah. So then by Friday, um, I came home from school and my aunt came back with shopping bags filled with hijabs. And then at that point I realized, like, you know what I mean? I felt so bad because I'm like, she bought me all these hijabs and I'm gonna say no to it. So out of like me feeling bad and stuff, because she bought me like I think like 30 hijabs, I just started wearing them like one by one, like every day and stuff. And then uh yeah, I feel like I've like integrated so well with the hijab because I've been wearing it for so long. So I've been able to adapt with it like through all aspects of life basically. Uh, when I see someone wearing hijab, I just in my head just like, ooh, what's that? So if society sees me in a negative way, I want to try my best to push positive vibes and optimism towards society. So now that when I'm a lot more older, people will look at Islam in a different perspective, especially women in Islam, you know what I mean? When I was a kid, I didn't think it was my job to be a representative of Islam. I just thought, if you wear the hijab, you just wear the hijab. Now that I'm older, I realize I'm a representation of my religion. I'm a representation as a female and a woman, and my actions reflect, you know what I mean, my society and who I am as well. So being an adult made me more socially constructive and more aware of what it's like to wear a hijab and how society perceives me. I don't 
usually wear the hijab, but today when I did, I feel more covered and more into a star than I ever got. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was World Hijab Day Ajax 2016. I really hope to see you guys next year. Get out the darwa tables, get out the hijabs, get out some food and some henna, and you know what? Teach people about Islam. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. Outfits are always on point. You know what I mean? If you're wearing pink shoes, your hijab can be pink too. Like, you know what I mean? You can always, like, match up with your outfits. Not only that, but it's beautiful. It's like wearing, like, jewelry, but just, you know, for your head. Like, why not?